Hi, it's Craig and Richard here from Monash Mindfulness. And we're here to do an exploration, a meditative reflection on our motivation for practicing mindfulness. Being clear on our motivation is really important if we're going to maintain a mindfulness practice over time. Yeah, so just find yourself a, a balanced position, um, sitting up, or if you are lying down, then just a, perhaps a low pillow. Just find yourself a balanced position and settle. And just being aware of your body and where you are. Just what's taking place in the present moment. And just allowing some thoughts, some reflections to arise in the mind. For example, just to reflect on what it feels like to be unmindful. When you're not mindful, what's the state of mind like? Is that when we experience stress or anxiety? Where's the mind when we're caught up in a negative mood? Anger or impatience worrying about the future? When unmindful, do we lapse into worry? or rumination or negative self-talk? And what's the state of the body like when we're not mindful? Is that when we experience tensions or discomfort or waste energy and feel tired? Does that contribute to us falling ill What's the effect of being unmindful on how we function? Do we waste time or are we less productive or make errors? Or what's the impact of being unmindful on our communication and relationships? Are we distracted, not listening? multitasking so that we don't really engage with others around us. Don't remember what people have said or feel less compassionate. Being unmindful, is this really something that we want more of in our life or less? And now reflect on what it feels like to be mindful. What's the state of our mind when we're mindful and present? Perhaps we're calmer, more aware, focused on what's important. Maybe we find that we're gentler, kinder, more patient. And what state is the body in when we're mindful? Perhaps it's less tense. Perhaps it's feeling more comfortable or perhaps just more tolerant of discomfort. Do we feel more energized, more alive? And how do we function when we're mindful? Are we perhaps more efficient? Do we use our time better? What happens to things like productivity and performance, errors? Perhaps we're better able to function. What about our relationships? What about our communication? When we're mindful, are we perhaps less distracted? When we start unitasking, giving our full attention to the conversation that we're having, to the relationship that we're having, what happens? Are we perhaps more respectful? Do we hear what people tell us? Do we remember what they tell us? Do we really notice those little moments with people who we care about? Maybe we're more compassionate. And again, just take a moment to reflect. Do you want more or less of this in your life? 
So if it's clear to us that we do want to cultivate more mindfulness and have less unmindfulness in our lives, that we might just reflect on some of the barriers that stand between us and living a more mindful life. Perhaps there's too little time to practice. But is there not always time there? Do we waste time through worry, inattention, distraction? Perhaps mindfulness might save time for us. And are we perhaps prioritising other things? Putting our attention on what we need to be doing or think that we need to be doing rather than actually taking the time to practice mindfulness. And we might ask ourselves that would mindfulness perhaps mean that we're better able to fulfil these priorities, better able to do the things that we need to do? Perhaps we're impatient for results irritated that mindfulness is not changing everything all of a sudden. But maybe mindfulness can teach us to learn patience, even to be patient of our impatience. Another big barrier is only practicing mindfulness when we need it, or when we think we need it. Perhaps we're stressed, or having trouble focusing, so we start to meditate, we start to practice mindfulness, and then when we find ourselves less stressed or more focused, we just let the practice go. But will it be there for us when we need it? If we don't practice it, will it really be there when we do need it? Maybe we struggle with adversity, difficulties in our lives, trying to get rid of the stress we're experiencing. But mindfulness is about learning, not success or failure. So can mindfulness teach us to be more patient with adversity, to turn to it, pay attention, and learn from it? Well, maybe we can't do it as well as we think we should. You know, perhaps we have some expectation that we should be able to stop our mind or that we should feel calm and relaxed when we're meditating. And what would it mean to just unburden ourselves from these expectations? What if mindfulness instead was just about bringing the attention into the present, noticing what's actually happening, and cultivating the ability just to let it be there? You know, letting go of this idea that we need to stop the thoughts, stop our mind. We need to relax or achieve any particular outcome. and Instead, just learning to be present with whatever is. So just take a few moments to reflect on any particular barriers that you find to cultivating mindfulness in your life. Which are the important ones for you? How will you find your way around or through those barriers. And then make a small goal for yourself, a manageable, achievable goal. How will you start to practice mindfulness today? Good. Good. So, I hope you have a mindful day and a mindful life. See you next time.